Now here's a brief explanation of why they use mill dot scopes <clears throat> for sniper applications. Uh, based on the weapon and the ballistics and knowing that the distance between each one of these dots equals 3.6 minutes of angle. 3.6 minutes of angle is 3.6 inches at 100 yards, 18 inches at 500 yards, or 36 inches at 1,000 yards. Uh, knowing all of that, we can use the mill dot system as a bullet drop compensator. And I'm going to show you a quick rundown on that real quick. All right, so I'm going to start on stage A here. Here's my target. And it specifies target height is 72 inches by 19 inches. So to use the mill system, you multiply the height of your target in yards times 1,000. Well, he's two yards tall, so two times 1,000. That's 2,000. Then you measure the height of the target in mils, like so. So we're measuring from his head to right there, one, two, looks like about 275. All right, so knowing that, then you divide that. So then you divide your 2,000 by the height in mils, which is 275, to determine the range to target. Now, 2,000 divided by 2.75 comes out to about 727 yards, according to my calculations. So, based on that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set this thing at 6 mils high. Like so. Alright, then we've got to calculate for our wind. It's from the right at 5 miles per hour, but it's a half value wind because it's not 3 o'clock. So you have to calculate that as well based on the wind drift on your range card. Based on that, I'm going to put on a half a mil right. Alright, prepare to fire. Headshot and the distance was 710 yards, so I was only off by about 15 yards on that calculation. All right, next stage range to target. Mm -hmm. All right, and wind. I'm going to hold three mils high. So that's going to automatically compensate me for the bullet drop for the increased distance. Watch this. Nine hundred and forty yards. All right, stage C. So he's a little less than two and a half. So I'm going to hold right at too high. And I'm going to take a little bit of wind off here. Fire. Eight hundred and sixty yards. A little closer on that one. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna hold about one mil high on him. And looks like the wind's picked up a little bit, so I'm going to put on one more click, right, and fire. 
Take 20. Stage E. Ranging. I right, have two and a half. So I'm going to hold a half a mil high. About there. And looks like the wind's picked up, so I'm going to put on a little more windage. And fire. <laughs> 760 yards. Stage F. Range about 275. Uh, what I got him dialed for, I'm gonna go ahead and hold right on the crosshair. Wind's backed off, so I'm gonna go to my previous setting of 0.9 and fire. 730 yards. Stage G. Looks like 2.5. So again, just so you can follow me, 2,000 divided by the height in mils, 2.5 equals 800. Target's about 800 yards. Well, according to this, elevation in mills for 800 yards is 7-0. I've got it set to 6, so hold one mill high. Just like that. And my wind, let's pick up a little bit. Let's bump it over. Fire. A little bit high. Can't believe I missed that one. Seven hundred eighty yards. I actually overestimated my range a little bit. That's why I shot high on that one. Stage H. like just a little over two so just a little tad over two means he's close to a thousand yards so I'm gonna hold being that I'm already set for six I'm gonna hold about two and a half high on him look at that wind one more time yep Here we go. A tad to the right. Eight hundred and ninety yards. Stage I. Oh yeah, he's close to a thousand yards, so again, I'm going to hold six, seven, eight, uh, I'm going to hold almost four mils high on him, oops, I'm going to hold right there. My wind's let up, so I'm going to back it off well, just a little bit and see what I got. Yep, 990 yards. Close on that guesstimation. One more. Oh, he's a little closer this time, looks like. 
about three mils high. And being that he's a little closer, I need to actually hold a little lower on this guy and fire. <laughs> 640 yards. Well, there you have it. That's why uh, mill dots are used instead of sitting there and having to do a lot of cranking back and forth on the elevation turret. Once you got the basic range set, you know, your intermediate range, then you can just hold high or hold low as long as you know how to estimate the range of the bullet drop. Works just like a bullet drop compensator. There you have it, Sniping 101.